Season's greetings, everyone. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And in honor of Thanksgiving... Ah, Finding Nemo, the game. A certified Traveler's Tales classic that was way harder than I remembered, and also way worse than I remembered. But it's cute, and there's still some good moments to be had. Like an abusive past relationship that you were gaslighted into believing was okay. And now that you're 26 years old, you think, whoa, that was f terrible. <laughs> yeah, but aside from that, I wanted to ask myself, how well was this beloved motion picture adapted into a light-hearted kids game? Nemo, that's my boy. Well, we start off in the water, which is very accurate to the movie. And fathers all in my ear like, if you want to get to school, you'll need to first learn how to swim effectively through these. The rings, Nemo. What do they mean? They mean everything, and you get to swim through them in a 2.5D setting, and get this, behind the back. Which was cool because it reminds me of when I used to pilot really small helicopters. Now we're ready to go to school! Now the main conflict begins when we meet our new school buddies. They inform me that their friend Pearl has been sold into the dark world of underwater squid trafficking. And it's up to me to rescue her, but it won't be easy. There's a big clam blocking our path. Looks like we'll have to go home. We obviously can't swim around it, so we go downtown. Notice down this hole. And get this, we find Pearl in the hideaway. <laughs> I'm Nemo. After our heroic rescue, we learn a few more important mechanics like picking up and dropping, and also breaking through tough blockages. How's your fin? With that out of the way, it's time to race to school, which presents us with the escape style swimming, and as you can see, I'm in last place. And this is because coming out in reverse really shook me up. I feel like a baby at breech birth. That was fun! Oh, and don't even get me started on the combat. Hey Nemo, I bet you didn't know that you can knock bubbles into other creatures and then dart into them like you did those rocks. That was a very specific explanation there. I can see where the cat in the hat got their inspiration from. Comment down below if you've ever done this. Then in comes our leader, Mr. Ray. Hey kids, off we go! Who escorts me and the gang down the tranquil trail where we gaze upon many sights of the sea, mainly consisting of these flat sneak attack guys. And they'll get you. I had to look these guys up, they're real. We journey on forward until we reach our destination. The drop off. Oh boy, this is where things get real dangerous. Hey, what's that? You see, the Australian army sent a scout into our territory, perhaps to gather intel for the upcoming fish war. So I was tasked to plant C4 on the enemy ship's cargo hold, and to put them on their heels, I was gonna have to dodge these eels. Hey. Deploying C4. And although I completed the mission, they were very quick to respond. And I really don't like where this is going, because Silent Hill wasn't even this scary. This is my two biggest fears, giant things and animatronics. And things only go from bad to worse, as Nemo is taken as a prisoner of war, assumably being transported to the corresponding prison camp. But it's not over yet, because the enemy mask was left behind, and we can only assume that it contains a clue. Father Marlin is now on the case. Which leads to where I ask the question, hey game, what's going on here? Because they have you moving at top speed, with a camera that's zoomed in just enough to where you can't see where you're going or what could even hurt you. Which wouldn't be much of a problem if you weren't a one-hit kill. <laughs> Although you can collect Krill as a shield, but they're very inconsistent. I think five Krill has the same defense stats as one. But after that's out of the way, we hit the city streets, where we also have to- Get out of the way! And once we get out of the way, we of course bump into Dory. Look out! <laughs> who's voiced by a third-party Ellen. A boat? Hey, I've seen a boat! Anyway, she's collected intel of the boat's coordinates. She's gonna lead us in the direction of the boat, so we chase her around in circles for a bit, while she periodically says, Stop following me, okay? I assume this is due to her early-onset dementia, and my HPV, until eventually she admits she has no idea where we're even going, so I killed her. That's when Bruce shows up in our area, causing minor hysteria. Hello? As he kindly offers to escort us to a little party he's having. I think it's time to party. Careful, my little tits. You don't want to be popping any of them balloons. Now his voice actor could have been a lot better, but I'll accept it for now, because we gotta chase him through the dark tunnels of the deep sea, and also a treacherous minefield, where if we pop any of them balloons... It'd be bad for your health, mate. <laughs> Luckily, we had Obamacare, so we were able to live through it. Although blowing up wasn't our only concern, because if Bruce gets too far ahead, he becomes feral for some reason. Which is nothing compared to when he inhales Dory's blood. Yummy. Because he becomes the big boss man, chasing us through the old submarine with relentless chomp attacks. <laughs> and if he gets you, you avoid him. I'm also not sure if there's a strategic way to dodge him, or if you can just stay at the bottom where he can't reach. But 
Like eating four slices of a medium pizza, that's just the half of it. <laughs> After the chase, you get to explore the worst area ever, where you can spend a whole lot of time searching all this clutter for a way out, just to get burned by underwater fire and sent back to the beginning. Even better, you get to solve a sliding puzzle that has no business being in this game. This thing caused this level to take me 35 minutes, which is a lot of minutes for these levels, and I was ready to light myself on fire, but the game switched it up and sent me over to Nemo at the dental facility, where we must search the tank and round up the hidden gang. The big blowfish was in the anemone, Hey there, little fella. Flo appears if you solve another one of these puzzles. Oh, who's this? <laughs> Bubble Guy defends his loot box. Hey, Bubble! Jacques comes in when you knock down three coconuts. <laughs> the long guy is locked behind this mismatched pathway mechanic thing. <laughs> the starfish is just hanging out in the glass. Hey. And I'm in North Korea. Do you know where my dad is? We're looking for a mask, remember? Meanwhile, back in the deep sea, Marlin and Dory team up to clear a path that they could definitely just swim around if they really wanted to. But that's no fun. You gotta go back and forth over and over again, opening up new passageways until eventually, nothing happens. I mean, we find the mask. We're getting closer, but oh no, an angler fish is in the area. So we gotta swim, fast, in the darkness, all while Dory cracks the goggle code. Sherman! He's a bit more agile than Bruce was, and he actually puts you in his mouth. <laughs> Comment down below if you've ever done this. But hey, if it isn't P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, my favorite location. P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. And also a place where Nemo is taking a nap. <laughs> my name is Jeff. And I'm awakened by Jacques to be escorted to the Volcano Gang initiation. Nemo must complete the tasks of Mount Wanahakalugi. And I gotta say, this part looks really good. It'd be cool if they scrapped a lot of the 2.5D stuff and had a lot more of this. But unfortunately, there's less of it, and I was tasked to slam this button 20 times to plug a hole, then solve another slide puzzle, can't get enough of those, then finally go through many rings atop a volcano. We did it. I will now be known as Sharkbait. From this moment on, you will now be known as... <laughs> This is bad, Dory. Hey, watch this! Boing! Now, speaking of shark bait, we're back with Marlin and Dory racing through the jellyfish streets. And I also like this one. I think I was supposed to bounce off some of the jellies to gain speed, but it didn't really matter in the long run. Although there is a section where you can bounce on them like little trampolines. Comment down below if you've ever done this. Ah, oh, shit. Dory's dead. Hey, we saved Dory. We know how the movie goes, okay? <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the tank, Gil's training Nemo for the great escape. How about I give you some one fin swimming tips? Surprisingly enough, out of all the voice actors, Willem Dafoe is actually the real voice actor. Try to keep up with me. And I'm way more immersed now. So we follow him around in a bird's eye view until we're tasked with bouncing the Pixar ball through 30 rings across the fish tank. I think the dentist expects us to play with it. It was a painstaking, arduous task that led me to feeling worse than I did before. On the bright side, we're now ready for the plan. <laughs> Oh, say dude! Oh. Now before we bounce on turtles in the East Australian current, we're always flying through more rings than Spyro when he flies through all those rings. Hey dudes, time to go! You ready, Sharkbait? I'll try. Back to the plan. And I was ready for the heist of a lifetime. Block the filters and escape in style. And that translates to finding five pieces of aquarium gravel and dropping them into this slot. I was out there moving rocks like an aquatic crack dealer. I was out there dropping stones like a British guy on a diet. In the movie, Nemo goes into the filter, but here, it didn't happen. I was disappointed, to be honest. I'd rather have been swallowed by a whale. Shark bait, you- <laughs> Kinda like these guys back in the ocean, who got swallowed by a whale. Oh. And there's a lot happening in this whale. Hey. There's gas leaks all over, and there's crabs just hanging out. Clams on the loose! <laughs> Try to stop me! <laughs> I will admit, flying through the intestinal tract at top speed was a hoot, although I am jealous, considering I haven't gone to the bathroom since Thanksgiving. <laughs> Speaking of going to the bathroom, Nemo's plan didn't work, and we were sent to die in a bag. <laughs> when Gil makes a last ditch effort to flush me into the sewers. All right! <laughs> I'm out. Gil said all drains lead to the ocean. And now we've entered the sewers. It's pretty icky down here, but that's pretty much it. There's some fun currents to get pushed through at top speed, but other than that, I don't really need to go into much detail about it. Just imagine rummaging through sewage pipes to escape the enemy. Hey, have you seen my dad? And right on cue as I escape the pipes, me and father reunite. But oh no! 
Summer got caught in a fishing net with a bunch of other fish. We must direct her and the others to swim down and break out before they're airlifted, killed, eaten, or dried out and put on display. Oh my goodness, we did it. We won. Yeah, this has to be the worst game I ever played on this channel. But it was cute. Love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Part two, baby. Now I'm Nemo and I'm going to school. I met some new friends and I thought they're pretty cool. And till I learned that Pearl was traffic. She was locked in the hideaway. I wonder how long, maybe half of the day. Until I saved Pearl. Then we went to the drop off and it started to pop off and we saw a boat. Nemo puts it four on the cargo. Nemo joined the Taliban. Stop. And that's the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, why don't you drop a like down below? Maybe even a comment. Or better yet, check out one of these videos I have right here. And very importantly, I want to give a shout out to my wonderful, beautiful patrons that are located directly behind me. Like I said before, I don't offer anything yet, but the fact that you even support me means the world. So thank you guys so much, and that's about it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.